Hello everybody and welcome to the second part of this series where I take you in my journey on how I add and edit small details on my artworks. Also don't forget to watch the first part when you finish this video. So without any further ado, let's start with this tutorial. If you are working on an artwork that has lake or water and there is some objects on that water and you want to add that that splits the object from the water or the lake, just like that one right here. The way is simple, click and hold control and then click on the layer that you want to add that foam to. Go to select, modify and expand. Expand it by let's say 15 pixels, then click and hold control, then alt and that will deselect the rock from the selection that we just made. So if you click on Q, you can see that the selection is a stroke outside that rock object. What you are going to do now is I will select the areas that are outside the water. Then click on delete. Now add blur to it. And maybe like some motion blur. The angle is 0%. Then click uh, just a bit of distance now let's give it the texture of water and that's by going to filter filter gallery and we are going to use the same texture that we made for the previous work the water displacement one maybe let's scale it just a bit add smoothness but not too much A little bit of distortion then click ok now click q to exit the standard mode or the quick mask mode then add exposure adjustment layer while the selection is active let's take that exposure adjustment layer and put it beneath the rock and add exposure and just like that that will separate the object from the water also, if you want to add the water cast light on the objects, in my case, this one right here, as you can see on the bottom, add a new layer and click on Q for quick selection mode, then go to filter, render, and click on clouds, then go to filter, render, and then click on difference clouds. Now, as you can see, this is the texture of the different clouds or the difference clouds. Click Ctrl L to add the uh, contrast and make sure we get something that looks like a water foam or water light reflection. Something that looks like this. Then click on Ctrl I to inverse it. Click Ctrl T, then descale it or decrease the scale and bring it to the bottom of that rock. Then click on Q and while the selection is active go to the rock layer and click on Control J then bring that layer all the way to the top turn it to screen blending mode add levels and move that slide to the right side delete it from the top click on Control U and add lightness Then click on Ctrl B for color balance, then give it the color of the lake. I'm going to change the blending mode from screen to linear dodge add and decrease the opacity to 60% or 50%. If you got value from this video so far and you want to see more advanced tips and techniques and if you want to support me as an artist make sure to get my digital landscape reloaded course the link is going to be down in the description for the next tip I will show you how to add the dust floating with the wind effect this one right here I will show you how I add that effect of the sand floating with the wind and to do that is very simple, it's just a few steps. Starting from the first step, as always, 
we add a new empty layer and then we click on Q to enter the standard mode and I know that I covered this uh, tip a lot of the Q because the quick mask mode is really a time saving so I, uh, this is why I use it a lot after you click Q to enter the quick mask mode go to filter click on render and then click on clouds click ctrl I to inverse the selection then click on filter filter gallery and make sure to let me just delete all of these because I was experimenting this technique add a new filter make sure it's the only filter uh, visible and then select grain this one right here make sure the intensity and the contrast all the way up to 100 and then click ok click on filter again then go to blur and then click on blur do that like two times or three times then click q to exit the quick mask mode while the selection is active select the gradient tool make sure it's the transparent one and let's add a white color make sure you are on the new empty layer and then just drag with the radial gradient on at the areas that you want to add the sand floating with the wind then deselect now select the paint bucket tool and lock the layer from here and sample a color from the sand on your image and then paint on the dust that you created with the gradient tool the transparent one make sure to make it brighter from the color menu if you don't have the color menu just go to windows and make sure to click on the color let's make it brighter and now let's drag from the light source the direction which is in my case it's coming from the left side from the left top side so i'm going to drag from here make sure you select the linear gradient and let's do that step so that we give the dust a light reflection also make it uh, a little bit darker and then drag from the bottom now let's unlock the layer you can always add light width or contrast by clicking on ctrl l to add levels just like that now for the second step click on ctrl j to duplicate the layer of the dust and give it a lot of blur by clicking on the Gaussian blur just like that and merge them together and that's how you add the dust effect on the desert now this is it for the second part of this series I hope you learned something new I hope you got value from this tutorial if you did make sure to give this video a like and also subscribe to our channel follow us on our social medias and grab my Digital Landscape Reloaded course. I will see you in the next part. Peace.